Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here. And in today's YouTube video, it's one of the most requested videos. And one I've wanted to do for a really long time. And that's confined everything that I've learned in the past 10 years of training. All the highs, the lows, all the learnings, and everything that I wish I knew sooner into one concise video. This is my ultimate, without a doubt, the perfect leg day routine. That if someone said, could you just do one lower body workout, what would it be? It's gonna be this one. So I'm putting a lot of my money on this one. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you support it. And if you give this workout a go and you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. It goes such a long way. It supports this channel. It supports me providing free educational videos that will help you along your fitness journey. And also it helps me grow my team so we can create even better content for you. So without further ado, let's get into this video. If you guys didn't know, I am ProMix's new global creative director. They have brought me in to completely revamp their brand. It is nerve wracking. It's not just, oh, hey, can you be an athlete? We'll give you a salary, you post. It's like, I have to change the entire brand, which is so nerve wracking because it's like, it's not my own brand. So if I mess this up, <laughs> not good news anyway so i've got promix here all of the supplements i use are going to be linked in the description box the first thing we're going to do and the most important thing that we're going to do is dynamically warm up so if you're coming into your leg days and you are just warming up like this you got to stop that is a static warm-up or a static cool down we need dynamic that means there needs to be movement there needs to be some form of blood flow to lubricate your joints to warm up your muscles and to get you fired up so let's run through a routine together The way I'm gonna assemble this workout together is gonna be the following. You have your dynamic warm-up, which we just did, and you're gonna complete that. That should roughly take you 10 to 15 minutes max. I would rather you do less exercises and focus on actually warming up properly, especially the older you get, you're gonna feel your hips and your joints are gonna be a bit sore, and it's gonna take you longer to recover. So warming up at the beginning is absolutely vital if I can give you any advice in the past 10 years of me training, warming up is a must. The other segment to this workout is actually looking at this kind of like a skeleton and we're putting meat onto it. So the first part of it is your foundational moves. Foundational moves are your compound moves. Those compound moves are gonna cause you to exert a lot of energy. But what compound moves are my top favorite? I know everyone loves squats, I love them. They're so multi-dimensional. You're using multiple joints and muscles. However, they can also be very exhausting. And if you're doing doing really heavy squats, I recommend only doing squats once a week max. Because if you're doing it multiple times during the week, you are actually not recovering properly enough. So because this is lower body focus, I'm actually gonna not do squats in this one. I'm gonna keep that for more of a full body day. Instead, we're gonna do an RDL. We're gonna focus on our glutes and our hamstring. Now this is a hinge movement. So that is the first movement we're gonna do and that's gonna really help target your glutes and your hamstrings if that's what you're looking forward to. If you wanna target your quads a little bit more, stay tuned to this video because we're gonna do isolating movements such as the leg extensions or even a leg press and that's gonna help you not exert as much energy but also hit the relevant muscles. So let's start off with an RDL.
So there's two choices you could do. You could do another compound movement. So if you really enjoy squats, you could do squats. If you really love another deadlift, do another deadlift. I wouldn't personally do two deadlifts in one because it was gonna, it's gonna be exhausting. But what I wanna do and what I found is making your workouts a little bit more confined and not doing too much. There is such thing as too much. You're gonna burn yourself out. You're gonna take longer to recover. And sometimes volume is a little bit unnecessary. The way this workout is being built is we have a hinge movement there that's targeting your glutes and your hamstrings. But now I wanna focus more on isolations and those isolations that do make an impact. Leg extension is a great movement for your quads. If done correctly as well, you can actually target different areas, especially with your feet placement. Then we're gonna go into another hamstring movement, but it's gonna be more isolating rather than just a pure hinge movement. Then we have to do a unilateral. Unilaterals are so important. Women are more pr prone to ACL tears. That means tearing the, of the ligaments around your knee area because our hips are wider, so our construction is different to men. So training your ACL, working on unilateral movements, is so important for balance, so important for symmetry, but so important for your overall health. And then we're gonna go into some accessory moves. I know there's a lot of ifs and buts in the industry. Do you do cable work? Do you not? But I've just found that you need a 360 mentality when you're training your body. Like, what is the benefit of training those smaller muscles? What is the benefit of training fast twitch and slow twitch fiber muscles? You can't just think about it as a one-dimensional way. Really think about your workouts as how has it benefited me from a health perspective and also from an aesthetic perspective? Because let's be honest, a lot of people also train to look good, not just feel good. So I'm taking everything into consideration. Right, leg extension. Normally, I would tell you to do them upright, but I've trialed them a different way and I actually prefer them this way. So leaning back, you're gonna get a deeper stretch in your quads and I just feel them so much more. I just love the feeling, but you can also do them upright if you want and just isolate them a little bit more. So completely up to you. But I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna get a deeper stretch, but that's also gonna mean I'm gonna use less weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the weight, hold, one, two, three, bring back down. And when you bring it back down, bring it all the way down. That's where you're gonna get that deep stretch. So a lot of people just kind of swing and then they bring the weight here. But I want you to bring it all the way down. That's gonna stretch your muscles even more. And then you're gonna bring it all the way up. Hold for three seconds. And then bring it all the way down. Oh, wow. Let's go. I feel the pump right here, like my blood is just rushing. When you do leg extensions, slower, and then you bring it all the way down and really stretch, it's a whole different feeling from just pumping them out. So again, a great thing to know is the range of how you're stretching your muscles. I've noticed that by slowing movements down and by stretching it and by increasing the range or the motion, you're just getting a better impact. So again, a squat is a squat, a deadlift is a deadlift, but it's how you do it that is gonna make the biggest impact. Moving on to a leg curl, hamstring curl. I love this movement so much. You can really focus on isolating your hamstrings. So the aim of the game is to bring the weight up, squeeze at the top, and then releasing slowly back down. Again, because you're slow in the movement, six reps, you're, you're Gucci, you're good. Now, if you want to pump them out, that's different. You're going to hit those fast twitch fiber muscles a little bit more, depending on how you do the movement, but just slow it down. There's no rush to it, and then decrease your rep range. So let's go into it. Holding on to the handles, bring your chin close to your body and we're gonna curl. Let's go.
So if those three movements didn't take your breath away, the next movement is a unilateral movement. You already know I'm very passionate about my single leg movements. And if you skip them on the Evolve You app, I do see that because the data comes back to me and we've got a lot of talking to do. If you don't know what the Evolve You app is, it's my fitness app. If you've enjoyed this workout, if you enjoy any of the workouts we do together, go and trial it. It's seven days free trial. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. If you love it, at least you've got something you actually enjoy and not forcing yourself to do something. So just a little, little nudge to go do something for you. Right, moving on. We're gonna do one of my ultimate favorite, favorite, favorite unilateral moves, and that is a reverse lunge. I love reverse lunges so much. Oh, they just absolutely kill me off. But I love that feeling. I love the feeling of like working for it and you know, you, you put you put in the grind. I don't know, that's just always been me. But I love them even more when I do them on the Smith machine. If you don't have a Smith machine, get yourself a barbell. If you don't like the barbell, dumbbells. There's always an option. The reason I like Smith machine is because there is a tension to it and there's a level of control to it. So I don't feel like the barbell is going anywhere. I'm controlling it, I'm in my zone. So I've got about 15 kg on either side. I don't like to tell you my weights too much because if one of you tries it and it's too heavy or if it's too light, it's irrelevant. Stick to the weights you like. But the aim of the game is, if you get into the reps with ease, it's too light for you. If you're struggling to get to the rep range, it's too heavy for you. So remember that. Right, scoop under, let's go. Last movement of the day, stay with me here. Nearly there. Like, I don't know. I love cable machines. Always have done, always will. And hey, I've got the proof that I know how to grow a little bit of a bunda. Look at the before and after, okay? And I have never stopped doing cable machine work. I've never stopped doing kickbacks. I've never stopped doing glute medius work. And look, like, here's the thing. We live in a world of a lot of opinions. I've got my own, you've got your own. But you've got to do what works for you and not feel ashamed to do it. Cause like, especially in the fitness industry, it's like, you're not doing that right. You shouldn't be doing this. And it's like, but if it works for me, let me chill. Let me chill, let me do my thing. I personally love them. I'm here for them and I encourage you to do them. So we're gonna do an accessory move, which is my favorite accessory move, which is the cable glute medius kickback. So you've got your standard kickback, which is that. For this one, we're gonna hit the sides of our glutes a little bit more. You're gonna cross over your foot just like so, and you're actually gonna drag your foot to the side. So there's a difference. This is a kickback backwards, like a donkey kick. This one, you're almost creating a semicircle to the side. So imagine a rainbow to the side. You're gonna hold onto the cables, drag your foot and pull to the side. Let's go. So there you have it, my ultimate lower body workout. Took basically everything I've learned and everything I personally enjoy into one video. And look, let me encourage you to do this. Let me encourage you to try something new and not be afraid to try it. Let me encourage you to keep doing the exercise that you love so much, even if someone else has an opinion on it. And number three, just because this works out for me, doesn't mean it's gonna necessarily work out for you, but it's good for you to give something go nonetheless. I just hope I help you in any type of way and just give you a little bit more confidence in the gym and just encourage you to lift some weights. Every woman in the world should be lifting weights in my opinion. The whole workout will be in the description box. Leave a thumbs up. It goes such a long way for me and my team. I love you always and forever and I'll see you next time.